Hi, I'm Joshua Wan from Harmony Public Schools. Today, we're going to be building an animal cell model. To build the animal cell model, we need some materials first. The materials needed are multicolored beads, multicolored yarn, gel, a cotton ball, a hot plate, a Pyrex speaker, a plastic mold, and some rubber gloves. After you've gathered all your materials, the first thing you want to do is take the gel container, take the lid off, and try to pry the gel out of there. After you've gotten the gel out, you want to put, put it inside a Pyrex speaker, which is set on top of a hot plate, and the hot plate its temperature is turned on high. You want to let it sit there until the gel has melted. While you wait for your gel to liquefy, take your beads, your yarn, and your cotton ball and start to form organelles. You want to make the organelles look as close as possible to the real ones in a real animal cell. This is what I did with my yarn, beads, and cotton ball to form organelles. After your gel has liquefied, put on those rubber gloves and pick up your beaker. You then want to slowly and carefully pour the liquid gel from the beaker into this mold. After you finish pouring all the liquid gel into the mold, you want to take your organelles and carefully place them into the mold. You want to put them into the exact location you want because the gel solidifies fast. If you need help figuring out where the organelles go, look at a picture of an animal cell for help. After you finish putting in all your organelles, leave the mold alone to let the gel solidify. After a little bit of time, the gel would have solidified and you can pick it up and do whatever you want with it. Congratulations, you have now built an animal cell model. During this project, I kept a journal that recorded my thoughts about this project. In one of my entries, I talked about how I'd like to revive the project if I was to do it again. I said, I would like to, instead of just building an animal cell model, I'd like to build a plant cell model and a bacterium cell model so that I could use the animal cell model to compare it to the other cell models. Thank you for watching my video about building an animal cell model and I also thank you for watching Harmony Schools.